Yeah, so we, we do integrated campaigns in addition to, um, you know, on, on our media. And then we, we blast that stuff out in addition to the products throughout the week, throughout the weekend. Uh, we have interactive, um, you know, we're communicating with prospects throughout the weekend. And that's our platform manager and our, our customer service. So we are... As you say, we're always on. Um, we're always there for customers and prospects. We have pre-qualified buyers on our side that we work with, as well as you know, working closely with the dealership to help them market their their assets better. Um, we also do weekly email campaigns mm -hmm. to thirty thousand um, you know recipients and growing, uh, and so we we are. You know, putting out a lot of marketing, I think more marketing than um, others, competitors in our space, be it a listing site or an auction site. Yeah, I, I and, and I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to I wanted to ask about that because my the, the way I looked at it a lot of times is your listing site, even your auction house, they will certainly take the inventory and put it up there but i don't quite see that aggressive advertising from the listing site from the auction house and i think it's sort of like um it, it you know it's one thing to just have something there i mean let's be honest many of the dealers on their website you know you could go to the website their website and here here's what it is but you have to in a competitive space you really have to blast that out there um, you know, as, as often as possible. And I think that's really where one of the big differences comes in. Yeah. And not only are we pushing out the, the products, but we are actually investing and in spending money against them. We, we, um, boost on Facebook, we boost all of the products that we're representing. So those, you know, dealers who are under subscription with us are getting advertising, um, and marketing dollars behind their products. In addition to to email, we include them in all our email campaigns so that, you know, people will, oh, you know, there's a truck here. And then they get that through the email as well. So there's multiple ways that we are, um, like you said, blasting out. It's not a static thing just sitting on our site. It's something that's being pushed out into our community, into the ecosystem of uh, trucktractortrailer.com. Also LinkedIn, which is something mm -hmm. I think um, unique that we are doing and that we're pushing out um, assets and deals through LinkedIn. Uh, and we have a very, very strong following there among our team. Yeah, and and, and I think that um, it's it's so interesting where, you know, and, and when we had Alan on, we, we talked a lot about the digital shift that happened um, spurred on by the pandemic. And I think that really did trickle to LinkedIn because because I agree with you. And I see a lot of buy and like legitimate buy and sell activity on LinkedIn that, you know, for, for trucks, for trucks and trailers that I wasn't really seeing um, pre-pandemic. And I, and I think, you know, to your point, you know, the, your team, uh, your marketing team at TTT did a great job of really seeing that and capitalizing on that. Yeah, I mean, we just really want to be that support. We want to be that extra arm, extra hand for the dealers and the dealerships, um, you know, not to replace what they're doing, but to just, you know, be an adjunct support at, for a great value also. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's, that's really what it should be. I mean, that's what that's what marketing is all about. It's, you know, you're, you're, you're looking to to increase the sales you're not looking to to replace anything it's just it, it you know it's a, it's about it that boost that enhancement that mm -hmm. that you know is so important to have in the marketplace right now mm -hmm.